This video will not be monetized. There will be no ads. Absolutely no money will be made from this video. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, Gigi, and everybody else who lost their lives that day. Prayers go out to all the family and everybody involved in this situation. Rest in peace, legend, Kobe Bean Bryant. y'all never thought you would see me in a Lakers jersey, huh? Life is so crazy. I woke up this morning just hoping, praying, just woke up thinking maybe yesterday was a dream. Maybe yesterday was a nightmare that everybody around the world just had at the same time. Maybe Kobe, Beam, Bryant, and his daughter Gigi, and everybody else in that helicopter passing away was just a horrible nightmare that everybody had at the same time. I woke up, I rushed to my phone, I went, I'm freaking, I'm shaking. I, I go to Twitter, refreshing the page, thinking maybe it was just a dream. Refreshing the page, maybe Kobe's still alive. It's like, Kobe? Kobe Bryant is dead? Like, this can't be real. Like, Kobe Bryant was invincible. He wasn't human. This is Kobe. This is Kobe. Like, yo. This is Kobe Bryant. He can't die. Dude, no. He's, he's like a fictional character, like a superhero. Like, you could shoot Kobe in the heart and he wouldn't die. He's invincible. He's superhuman. Like, Kobe Bryant has passed away. This, it's fake. It, it's fake. It's, it's a dream. It, that's Kobe. That's the Black Mamba. That's Kobe Bryant. He can't die. Is bro? This is crazy. I know I'm a huge Suns fan, and you guys probably never think to see me in a Lakers jersey. There's things bigger than basketball. Kobe Bean Bryant and his daughter Gigi and everybody else in that helicopter crash. This is bigger than basketball. I'm a Suns fan, but today I'm going to be wearing this Lakers jersey in honor of Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was a legend in many ways. In honor of Kobe Bryant, we're gonna put all that Suns fan stuff to the side. And I know I'm a Suns fan and Suns fans can't wear Lakers gear. Suns fans can't be fans of Kobe. Kobe beat the Suns a million times. You're a Suns fan, you can't love Kobe. We're gonna put all that meaningless bullshit to the side today and we're gonna rep Kobe Bean Bryant. Rest in peace. Man, those, those words just, just shouldn't go in the same sentence. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. This is for Kobe. So we just pulled up to P's house. P, you've had this up for how long, man? You've, that thing has been up since your first day ever coming here. Uh, since, I don't know. I mean, since forever. I'm here with Paul the Barber, who's actually one of the biggest Laker fans, or should I say one of the biggest Kobe fans that I know. It's, it's a struggle. It's definitely a struggle. It's just, it's, it's mind blowing. You just don't want to believe it's true. We lost an icon, a legend. Kobe, we love you, we miss you, we don't miss you like a mom. It's, it's crazy. Bro, you just, you wake up and you're like, that wasn't real. Obviously, it was like a dream. Just can't believe it's real. All right, guys. So I just pulled up to the old house right now. Um, I'll explain why I'm here once we get inside. Dude, I came to my old house. I drove 30 minutes, 35 minutes away from the house, my parents' house, to come back to the old house because I'm looking for a pair of shoes that I really want to wear today. Yes, yes, yes. They're right here. They're right here. 
Oh, man. Let me show you guys. Hold up. These shoes right here. Look at this. Look whose face is inside right there. Legend Kobe Bryant. That's Kobe right there on the Nike swoosh logo. And guess who else is in these shoes? That's Devin Booker right there. Look at that. Devin Booker himself shipped me a pair to my house. It's a Devin Booker and Kobe Bryant collab. And I decided that I really want to wear these today um, in honor of Kobe. Today is a day to show your respect for a legend. Bro. Oh my God. I just found this video from four years ago. Just watch this. You can't deny greatness. Kobe is a great. Kobe is a legend. Dog, this is crazy. I forgot I had this video. I've, I'm 20 years old. Kobe has played in the NBA for 20 years. I've literally watched him growing up. What's going through your head as Kobe is playing his final game tonight? Um, I'm literally, literally crying every time I see him on TV. Emotional. Every time I see him, I just kind of like, you know. What are we planning, man? Probably sitting, probably sit over here. I'm sitting over here. And probably going to be crying the whole game. Crying? Yeah. <laughs> and the jersey? Kobe has 49. Kobe's going for 50. Ah! No way. Kobe, listen guys. Okay, hold on. I don't even care that I'm crying, but... Guys, he scored 60 points. I'm a Suns fan and I love the Suns, but I'm not an idiot when it comes to sports. I respect Kobe Bryant and I recognize greatness. You respect the players who work their ass off. Kobe dropped 60 his final game. Kobe, you legend. You know somebody who was real devastated yesterday? Somebody who was really sad? Somebody that I haven't seen cry in years was my dad. I'm with my dad every single day. I see my dad every day and my dad has been through a lot and I've never seen him shed a tear. I haven't seen my dad cry in, in years. So when I broke the news to my dad that Kobe Bryant had passed away, I saw my dad cry for the first time in years. And it really hit me. Um, it really broke my heart. My dad he was born in Iraq. You know, basketball is not big there. Uh, soccer is big over there. So when my dad came over here to America to marry my mom, he was a huge soccer guy, a huge soccer fan. He came, he moved to California, and guess who was the biggest, hottest thing in California when my dad moved here? Kobe Bryant. So my dad started following basketball because of Kobe and he kind of put soccer to the side and he started loving basketball. You know, my dad fell in love with the game of basketball because of Kobe Bryant. So, you know, my dad didn't take yesterday's news real well and he was crying. Kobe made my dad fall in love with a sport that's so big to my family right now. If my dad never taught me how to play basketball, I would have never played. Uh, my dad wasn't doing too well yesterday. He actually went in his room to go to sleep really, really early. Um, and I haven't seen him today, so uh, I'm gonna give him a call just to check up on him and see how he's doing. Hello. What's up, Dad? Uh, how are you feeling today? A little better. I was just watching TV all day. Yeah, no, I was just calling to see how you're feeling. Yeah, I'm okay. I'll just wake up early at four and I want. Hey, how many people grew up doing this? Anytime there was a trash can, whether you were at home or, you know, a piece of paper in school, anytime there was a trash can nearby, Kobe, always. One more piece of trash just for Kobe. Ah, Kobe, every time, man. Rest in peace to a legend, Kobe Bean Bryant. Just feels so sad and real. We're still shocked, like, we just finished watching his um, last game. It's really sad. Our hearts goes out to his family and to the other families. It's like you lost someone that you know. He's going to be missed. Well, I still can't believe it. Today's the second day, and I still, like, think I'm, you know, dreaming or something. I wish that never happened, but I cannot stop crying every time. I watch the news, it just... <sighs> it's we like grow. we grow together, you know, like... <laughs> Look at Brian, he even they drew this of Brian. So sad. 
man, like, it just doesn't feel like a normal day. Like, the sky is blue, the sun is out, and good weather, and beautiful day, but it just doesn't feel right. I don't know, you look outside and, and the world just seems upset. Bro, all my friends just hit me up. Supposedly, a bunch of my friends are going to the gym to go play basketball, and they want me to go there and meet up with them and play. I don't know, I'm I'm feeling iffy about going. Like, like I love basketball and I wanna play basketball, but today, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I'm debating, I'm like, dude, do I even wanna play? My heart is so empty. My heart feels so broken. Like, I don't know if I could run up and down a court and, and shoot a basketball. And I just don't know if I have the heart to do all that right now. So I'm pulled over on the side of the road literally on my way to the gym stopped and i want to go play some basketball because you know that's what kobe loved to do that's what kobe would want people to do kobe would want people to hoop today kobe would want people to hoop all day today i think i'm gonna go play because it's not good to hold in your emotions i think it'll be good for me to get out and and go do something else just to get my mind off things I'm already on the way to the gym. I might as well go. I think Kobe would want me to go play basketball today. I think Kobe would want any Hooper to go play today. I have never in my life, never had to think about going to play basketball, never. This was the first time in my life. Look at man, we got a Kobe jersey right here. Kobe, I fuck with the jersey, bro. We got a Kobe jersey out here, represent. Okay, okay, Kenny. A uh, hell of people came out for Kobe. Look, another Kobe jersey right there. Kobe. Kobe's? Kobe's. Hey, JP, what do we got? Oh, man, that's beautiful. Let me see the back. Respect, respect. Tay, you got the Kobe's. Kobe's on the hand and the feet. Hands and the feet. That's what I'm talking about. Yup. I just I just finished playing ball and everybody over there was playing for Kobe. It made my heart warm seeing everybody playing in all that Kobe gear because it's crazy how some dude that none of us have ever met could bring us so close together. That, that's, that's the craziest thing that I've realized from this whole situation. This is a dude that none of us have ever met, yet he brought us so close together during this time. Bro, what in the world? Oh, sorry. I don't have my Kobe jersey on. I just hopped out the shower. I got to put it back on, but dude, oh my gosh, I just got the biggest heart attack. I freaking see this on my wall, and this wasn't here when I moved out. So I was like, holy shit, this is a sign from God. Like Kobe, his daughter, how did this appear on my wall with his numbers? I was flipping out. I, I, dude, I started shaking. I wish there was a camera recording me. I was shaking. And then I looked at the handwriting and I'm like, wait, that, that looks kind of familiar. So I called my dad. So it turns out uh, when I woke up this morning at the other house, my dad wasn't there and I was like wondering where he was. So it turns out my dad came to this house and hung this up here because despite nobody living here anymore, nobody's ever at this house. No one freaking lives here. It's an empty house. And my dad still came and hung this up right there because when my dad came from Iraq and first moved into this house, we used to have a TV right here, just like we do right now. This was my dad's spot right here. He used to sit right here and watch the Lakers every time they would play. He used to watch Kobe sitting right here. You know, we didn't have the most money in the world. We didn't have TVs everywhere in the house. We had a TV right here. My dad would come home from work. Every time there was a Laker game, he would sit right here and watch the Lakers, he would watch Kobe Bryant. And so my dad this morning came here and hung this up right here where he used to sit and watch the games. Um, and, and that really touched me because nobody lives here. Nobody's ever at this house. Nobody's ever going to see this. But my dad still felt the need to come here, right here, where he used to watch Laker games 20 years ago when he first came from Iraq. So the fact that he hung this up here, it, it really touches my heart, bro. Kobe? Kobe Bryant is gone? That just, dude, this shit doesn't make sense. Like, this shit doesn't seem real. Kobe? This dude, like, my whole childhood, Kobe was invincible. You can't touch Kobe. That's Kobe, bro. You could stand, you could go up to Kobe with a gun, shoot him in the heart, and he would just walk away laughing. You could put Kobe in the middle of the road and run him over with a, with a monster truck going 100 miles per hour, and he would just stand right back up. That's Kobe. 
He can't die. That's Kobe Bryant, bro. Kobe? Dude, that, that's a su that's a superhero. God, you can't take Kobe Bryant? Like, oh my God, this shit is not real, bro. This is, this shit is not real, man. Like, dude, there's gonna be a funeral for Kobe Bryant? A funeral? Like, he's, he's gone? Bro, you can't pay me a billion dollars to believe that there's going to be a funeral for Kobe Bryant. That shit just doesn't sit right. To non-basketball fans, it might be like, he's human, Brandon. Obviously, he's gonna die one day. All of us do. But to basketball fans, Kobe wasn't supposed to die. He is a, he, there's basketball players, NBA players, and then there's Kobe. He was like a god. You can't kill Kobe life. You can't take Kobe away. That just never seemed possible. You. That shit's crazy. It's so crazy to me. This shit's not real. It can't be real. It can't. It can't be real. It just can't. I remember when I was younger, my dad had just came from Iraq. He didn't have money like that. We didn't have money like that. So even though I was a Suns fan ever since I was a kid, to watch the Suns games, you had to pay $200 a season. There's no way my parents were gonna let me pay $200 a season watching the Suns. So even though I was a Suns fan, we used to watch every night at my old house because uh, we live in California, so they show the Laker games for free. Every night we used to watch the Lakers. We used to watch Kobe ever since I was a kid. Even though I was a Suns fan, we couldn't pay $200 every season to watch the Suns. Laker games were free. I was a diehard Suns fan watching the Lakers and watching Kobe Bryant every single night. Bro, I, I'm Middle Eastern, so as a kid, if I even thought about asking my parents to pay $200 for something every season, my mom would my mom would take her skin off so fast. My dad would backhand the shit out of me. Bro, imagine being a kid going up, hey mom, hey dad, can you pay $200 a season for something for me? Dude, I, my mom would have took two. She would have took both, one for each hundred. $100, $200, and just both in the face. Okay, guys, so Booker decided to, Booker, you can't do that, that's disrespectful. Look at this, my little brother, how old was he? 2009, my brother was 12 or 13. My brother was 13 years old and he has a thing of him and a Kobe Bryant jersey. Shit goes, goes way back, way back in our family. So growing up as a kid, I used to watch Kobe. Even though I was a Suns fan, huge Suns fan, I grew up watching Kobe. Okay guys, so I've gotten so many comments telling me to keep my room yellow and purple. Um, for those who are new to this channel, my, my little brother pranked me by turning my whole room Laker colors um, And he promised me that he was gonna paint it Suns colors after the prank he came up to me bro Don't kill me. I swear. I'll, I'll put it to Phoenix Suns colors. So a Bunch of people have been telling me bro out of respect for Kobe keep your room Laker colors Keep it gold and purple and I thought about it but at the end of the day I'm a Suns fan so I'm gonna have this back to a Phoenix Suns room, but but there's one thing I wanted to say. This right here, no matter what I put up of the Phoenix Suns and no matter what color I paint the walls, this right here is going to stay. I will not take this off. This Kobe Bryant right above my head, this is going to stay. Kobe Bean Bryant, a legend, a freaking legend. Things just hit at weird times. This prank was literally done a couple weeks ago and I'm over here like, Brian, no. I don't want this stuff in my room, like blah, blah, blah. And now here I am, I'm about to go beg Brian, like bro, please leave this in my room. Please don't take it down, like. Booker, you gotta go to sleep now. Come here, you gotta sleep closer to me today. Your dad is sad. Daddy's sad today, you gotta sleep closer to me. I'm sleeping in this Kobe jersey, bro. I'm not taking it off. This is just all about respect. People sound so stupid. I posted a picture in this Kobe jersey and I see some people commenting like, dude, you're not even a Lakers fan. Why are you wearing that ball ball, bro? Like I said earlier in this video, there's things bigger than basketball. People don't understand that. Outside of a basketball player, Kobe was also a father. So no, you don't have to be a Lakers fan to mourn the death of Kobe Bryant. And so I'm going to sleep in this too. 
people that just sound so stupid like you don't even like the Lakers now you want to act all sad about Kobe and it's like bro this situation is so much bigger than basketball it's like I can't even imagine what Vanessa Kobe's wife is going through I can't imagine Gigi had sisters Kobe had other daughters I can't imagine what they're going through and and to the families of the other people that were involved and it's like such a sad situation and you got people worried about dude you weren't a Laker fan you're not allowed to be sad dude like like use your brain there, there's things bigger to the situation than who was a Laker fan and who used to rock with Kobe dude everybody is mourning a death and that's what you guys are worried about we're going to sleep in this tonight for Kobe and guys I'm praying I'm gonna pray for all the families involved um, and you guys should too just send your prayers it's free it's just the thought that counts we didn't just lose a legend and his daughter there were other people involved in that crash there was nine people that were killed and you know Kobe has a family but so do the other people so just pray for everybody involved pray you know I, I can't imagine what all these families are going through so it's just it's just such a tough situation I, I, I can't even begin to think how these people are how their families are handling this and just send prayers bro send prayers their way rest in peace rest in paradise to a legend a goat before i close this video out i just wanted to give a thank you thank you to kobe bryant for everything he has done to mine and my family's life along with millions of people around the world i know millions and millions of people never liked basketball never picked up a basketball didn't even care for basketball until kobe bryant came into the league kobe bryant himself inspired millions and millions of people to play basketball and i want to send a personal thank you to kobe bryant for what he did for my family ever since i was a kid what brought me and my family together was the sport of basketball i would see my mom see my dad as a little kid and the first thing i would talk about is is there basketball games tonight are there basketball games today i used to just want to watch basketball we used to sit in our old house in our loft me my mom my dad and my brother and we used to watch basketball all day and if it wasn't for kobe bryant my parents would have never developed a love for basketball basketball brought my family close basketball makes my family what it is today and if it wasn't for kobe bryant my parents would have never fell in love with basketball so i want to say thank you to kobe another way i want to say thank you is people think since i love basketball so much that i i got my dad into basketball which is false i didn't get my dad into basketball my dad got me into basketball my dad taught me how to play and if my dad never fell in love with kobe bryant i would never be playing basketball let that sink in my life is basketball everything i do is basketball related and if my dad never fell in love with kobe he would have never taught me how to play basketball. I wasn't on no travel ball teams when I was a kid. I didn't play high school basketball. I didn't I, I didn't play basketball with my friends when I was younger. My dad taught me everything I know about basketball. My dad would take me to the park to play basketball. And if my dad never fell in love with Kobe, I would never be in love with basketball. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you to Kobe. Thank you for, you know, bringing my family close. Yeah, I just, I'll never, ever, ever forget the memories from ever since I was a little kid, maybe four, five, six years old, sitting with my family. And I would have my Phoenix Suns gear on and my family would put the Laker game on TV and, and we, would, we would just be watching Kobe. Yeah, so one last thank you to Kobe Bryant. Thank you so much for making my family close and my family being what it is today, so close, so tight knit, that came from basketball. And without you, Kobe, there would be no love for basketball for my family. You will be missed. You are a legend, not just on the court, but off the basketball court as a father. Legend, GOAT, there will never be another Kobe. I repeat, there will never, ever, ever be another Kobe. Mamba out. <laughs>